Ben had the running ability in him, or is this just, you just feel like the time I let him lose a little bit? Yeah, no, he always uh, he was a solid athlete, you know, and, and uh, ran better than people I think give him credit for. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, you know, he, he uh, just made some good decisions when some things weren't there and uh, to, to tuck it and take what they gave him. Get, and it was nice. He got us a couple third down conversions that were big and then uh, quarterback draw that we ran in the, in the red zone. I uh, thought that was a, it was a nice run to, you know, seeing it get vertical. Were, yeah, solid athlete. Were, were most of those his calls or, 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 or any of them? Uh, one of them, the red zone was planned. The, uh, the other ones, you know, he, some of those um, movement throws, that's, you know, kind of the be your own check down, the last part of it. Uh, and I just, uh, I was really pleased with the decisions that he was making, you know, not to force the ball. And sometimes he just felt like, hey, I've got this space, I'm just going to go and yeah. take it if they're giving it to me. What, why hasn't that been there before? Is that something to the evolution of his, of his game as a starter? Um, uh, or, or have you guys talked more about it lately? Or? No, I, I just think in, uh, in last week's game, it just it presented itself. Some, some of the things were, you know, covered, or, or they weren't doing as good a job of covering down on him, and he just he had some space to take it. So I think it just maybe showed up more in this game. I don't. I, that's always kind of been an option for our guys. How much has it changed your play calling last Saturday, and maybe even this Saturday, not to have Jack Coletto? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just uh, without Coletto, I mean. You're, some different personnel, you know, not, not, not in some personnel, certain personnel groups. And yeah, it, it, it changes the thought process. I don't think it, uh, maybe just the personnel and, and some of the formations that maybe we're, we're not getting to uh, changes that a bit, but I don't I don't think it really changes our mindset as far as uh, overall, hey, we want to run the football and use the run schemes we want to go with. We're just, we're just going to do it from different personnel groups. And different formations. It's mostly on third down, is it? Yeah, and that's play. probably uh, that's probably where it affected us most last week was just our third down play. I mean, yeah. He's a huge part of what we do in that in that category, and uh, not having him was yeah it was definitely different than last week. For Ben, how much uh, correlation is there between you know his preparation and the results you've seen from him the last couple of weeks, or or there's some other factors that have you know kind of helped him along? Well, I think the the experience is you know just every week you know playing in the Pac-12 against these different defenses I think the experience is huge um, and then yeah I give Ben a lot of credit on his preparation I mean he really um, you know is really diligent about the way that he watches the tape studies asks questions um, spends extra time with some of the receivers getting the timing right I mean he's he's really done a nice job for a young guy in uh, in preparing himself to get, to get ready on Saturday and I, I just think it's uh, it's shown up the last couple of weeks which is good in, in regard to Martinez it seemed like Saturday the yards after contact was probably the most he's had all season. How much of that is strength? And is there anything else that is leading to him turning a two-yarder into ten? Yeah, uh, a lot of it is just strength and uh, physical ability. I mean, he's just a super talented guy. Low center of gravity, gets his pads down, and uh, a physical guy for for a, a true freshman. It's been it's pretty impressive the way that he ran on Saturday. Because yeah, you're right there. Were, there were some where he was getting met at the line of scrimmage, and they turned it ended up being five. Or some some of them ended up being ten yard gains, which was uh, it's awesome as the play caller that, that happens. But yeah, I give Damian a lot of credit. Uh, he's just a really talented player. Is that mostly physical ability, or is there some things you guys work on in practice that you where you can where he can do that? Because I don't, I mean, I don't know if that's just pure raw strength. Yeah. Or, I mean, I mean, it's it's both. I mean, we we uh, Coach Stewart does an awesome job with the backs, and those guys are working. You know, during their individual periods, they're always constantly talking about pad level, and, you know, uh, running through contact. Yeah. Uh, but but you know, to do it like that, like he did on Saturday, I think the, the ability, you know, is a right. bit of factor. But... We've seen this Oregon defense look a little bit different throughout the season. Sometimes they're playing lights out. Sometimes they're giving up big plays. What do you see out of this defense, and where do you see ways that you can attack them? Uh, super talented, man. I mean, just speed. I, I think of the uh, the edge guys are, are really, really talented players. Uh, some of the, you know, uh, the best that we've seen all year. Uh, they present, present some issues. Those videos on social media after the game, you guys have locked room chair and lights on. You're always the one in the middle of it. It seems like you're having more fun than maybe I've ever seen. It is, am, I, am, I, am I off on that at all? 
No, I don't know why. I got designated to be the one to start the tempo of the clap, so everyone goes off my rhythm now, apparently. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have fun with it. There's a lot of years where we didn't get to see that fight song a whole lot, so I, uh, I appreciate it after the game for me the opportunity to do so. I mean, it's been eight this year. It does it get old at all? No, no. It'll never get old. I, I look forward to the next one more than any of them. So, we, we don't see every, we don't talk to you every week, so I, I just want to ask this. The bowl season's coming up, and this is the time of year where guys decide whether they're going to play or not. Does that even come into your mind? You, oh. you seem like the kind of guy that wants to be there for that. Playing the bowl game? Yeah, well, there's guys that don't play in it because they want to you know, get ready for the, whatever the next month. Is. Yeah, I mean, there's also the crazy people out there, and I ain't one of them. Absolutely, I want to play in that thing. I'm looking forward to it. Um, we got to get to the first, this next week, though, and then we'll worry about that. Well, that's not yeah. something that would even enter no. you. No, no, no chance. No no slight chance. No. You'd have to get me out and uh, end up handcuff me to keep me from playing that game. How, how did you feel like you guys had some challenges last week with, you know, Tali was a little banged up and, yeah. and, and you know, Miller was playing his first one. How did you guys feel like he performed his offensive line? I thought he had a good game. Um, obviously, it was good to get Damian going, get the running game going. Um, I think there's always things going to get cleaned up. I was really happy with how Team Young stepped up. Um, first start, me and Josh were actually talking about dinner the other day. Uh, both thought he handled his first start way better than either of us ever did. So, no, it was awesome to see some of the younger guys step up. Um, obviously, Tali fighting through little bangs and bruises like we all do. But, no, I, I think we had a solid game all around. I think there's a lot that we can still improve on, um, which excites me because I think we got a backfield that they'll run that ball now. So if we just if we can keep executing and just keep improving, uh, I don't see how we can't just keep on the ball. What, what is it like for an offensive line when you see a guy like Martinez get stopped two yards and then all of a sudden it's a ten yard run? And he did that several times Saturday. It just seemed like he was going down and he did. Yeah, uh, no, I, <laughs> after the game, I told him that you ain't no freshman. Uh, those were some grown man runs um, as an offensive lineman. There's going to be times where communication gets messed up. Something doesn't happen correctly. Um, as much as we'd all like to be perfect all the time, it, it's just not realistic that every play it's always going to be perfect. So it's awesome to have a back who's going to make you right, even when you're wrong. Um, and he did that for us multiple times last week. I mean, it was obvious watching on field, running through tackles in the backfield, just running guys over like a grown man. Um, no, it's awesome to block for a guy like that. That's what you want in the back. What have you seen that's come together for this offense the last couple of weeks that's allowed for the production you had? Uh, I think it's consistency. Uh, not only consistency in, like, on the field, but consistency in practice. Um, I think that we've gotten to a point where we're, we're practicing with a, with a certain tempo. Um, I mean, I think we always practice hard. I, I, I never doubt that anybody on this team doesn't give it their all practice. But I think there were times where we'd have practices where one, one guy here, one guy there, just inconsistent days. Um, so I think the consistency across the board for everybody has allowed us to kind of gel a little bit better, get into a rhythm with one another. Um, and just, it, it's it's all about rhythm. It's all about finding that unity together. And I think we've kind of done that. And Ben's been your starter for a while now. How much have you seen him become more comfortable, you know, game after mm-hmm. game with, with his surroundings? Oh, no, man. I'm so proud of Ben. Um, I told him after the game last week, like, he made some plays last week that I know his first his first week's time he won the and. That's what. That's all I care about. That's all you want to see is, is that growth. Obviously, to step in the middle of the season like he did, like that, that's a lot, a lot of pressure that people put on you. And I don't think he's taken any of that pressure. I think he's just shown up day after day, been himself, um, tried to be the best version of himself he can be. And it's been awesome to see him grow, mature, not only as a player but as a man, as a leader. Um, no, he, he's really stepped up big for us in a big way. They got a couple guys on this D line, number three, and number two, that can make some plays in the backfield. How do you guys see this battle against, you know, this defensive front? I mean, I think I, every team, this is the Pac-12, every team's going to have a couple guys here there. Obviously, Oregon's got some good, they got some big names. They got some guys that are proven that have made some big plays. But I think for us, it, it's going back to the basics, the same things that have got us here, um, our fundamentals, the communication piece, focusing on ourselves, and most importantly, making a physical um, they know it, we know it, like it's got to be physical up front. Whoever wins that line of scrimmage is probably going to win the game. And so for us, it's just getting back to the basics, getting back to the stuff that's gotten to the opportunity to win, our, play for a night game. So, uh, no, just making a physical man and just going out there and executing. How important is it for you guys to have, you know, this game on your home turf? <laughs> um, this one's a special one. Uh, obviously, the 2020 season. Um, that, that's a game I always remember. Whenever you play the Ducks, you always remember those games. Win, lose, um, beating them here in 2020 was awesome, but having no fans, 
kind of sucked. Um, so I think that this this one's a special one, giving us the opportunity not only to, to play here in front of our fans, but have the opportunity to win our ninth game, beat them here. Um, obviously, we got to play the game, we got to execute, and we got to we got to do everything right. Um, they're a solid team, but no, I think it's special. I, I look forward to it very much. I know research going to be rocking. I know this town's excited. I know I'm excited. I know this team's excited. I know they're excited. So both teams bring their best, and we'll see how it goes. For this senior group, this to be, you know, the last battle against this Oregon team, how special would it be to, you know, basically just cap it off with a win against the rival team? Oh, uh, like I said, um, these games, this, this rivalry, is, it's legitimate. Um, I think the across the country there's a lot of big rivalries but I think that this one is definitely it's up there um, and some of the more special ones and I think it's personal for both sides and so um, obviously I've played in a lot of these games boss more than we've won to be honest with you um, I think it'd be really special for not only the seniors um, but even for the young guys who, who are just entering the program to, to kind of set a precedent um, for me to leave here with a, with a win like that would be awesome it'd be very special teammates giving you any hard time about, about, about showing you can actually run the ball and all that? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I mean, it felt good to just kind of, you know, show that, that part of my game that I've been working on the past couple of years. Um, I think, you know, I'm a threat in the run game when, when it breaks down in the pass game. And, uh, it was good to be able to show that, that I could do that. Did, did you do that much in high school? Uh, not. I, towards the end of, towards the end of, like, my career in high school, I started doing it more and more. And I don't know, like, I feel like I just wasn't really so much aware of it, you know, but then I, I started doing it more and more and like, I realized, okay, yeah, we, well, these lanes are here, I, I need to take them. I'm, I'm a good athlete. So. Because you could do that, did you notice at all Saturday that after a while guys were a little bit more hesitant to, to do certain things on defense because you might take off and run and you feel like that's something adding to your game is, yeah. is going to help down the road? For sure, I, I, I feel really confident throwing the ball and stuff, and I think if I can add that part of the game to, you know, my quarterback play, I think it, you know, it, it helps to kind of create a, you know, it, it helps to, you know, show that I, to defense I, I can run the ball when it's not there and uh, close that throw. How much do you credit just being comfortable in this offense now after several starts, and, and just your preparation for the results we've had these last couple of weeks? Yeah, I think I, I'm kind of refining and dialing in a, in a process that I like, you know, throughout the week and. I feel like you know the, the tape study and uh, you know what, what we go over with the coaches and our teammates. I feel like we, you know we're, we're prepared going out there. You know, we see the looks and stuff, and you know, I'm ready to you know put the ball where it needs to go. And how about this this team as a whole, the offense? How do you what do you kind of credit the, the results you guys have gotten the last couple weeks? I think it just uh, credit to the, the hard work and preparation we put in during the week. The, the extra you know the time we stay after watching tape, you know. Our extra work after practice, stuff like that, getting things right, you know, refining our, our plays and stuff. And I think just the overall process we put into the week. Uh, you know, when you put it put in a good process of preparation, and you just go out and let you know let it rip. So, yeah. This Oregon defense, they've given tons of different looks. They've played lights out, but they've also been susceptible to pass and things like that. Where do you see the spots to attack this defense? Shoot, they're they're a great defense over there, and uh, their 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 coaches have a great scheme. They have great players, and that's going to it's going to be a tough test for us. And, you know, we, we look forward to that challenge. You've had a lot of teammates who've played in this game. What have they told you about the atmosphere of this game, and you know, playing it at home, especially? Yeah, I, I think I, I'm just really excited to go out there and play this game, and you know, it, it'll be my first you know time playing in this game, and. Uh, I know the city of Corvallis, uh, they really rally around us, you know, around this game and, you know, in general and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to, you know, going out there and battling for them. Playing for your senior group, what would it mean to cap off their senior year with a, helping them, you know, cap off the year with a senior win against Oregon? Oh, it'd be huge. Those guys have, you know, they, they've been here from, from the start and, you know, they, they've kind of built something really special here and, you know, it'd be awesome to kind of send those guys out of Reezer, you know, with a win on, on Saturday. They got probably one of the best DBs in the country, number zero, Christian Gonzalez. What have you seen from his play, and how do you sort of, you know, go after him? Yeah, shoot, I, I, I think you know that, that comes with scheme and stuff, and uh, he's a great player, and they got a lot of great players on defense. So I think, uh, but I, I'm confident in our guys on offense, and I, I think we can go out and make some plays, and you know, uh, yeah, I, I look forward to the challenge. One fun Thanksgiving question, uh, if you could yeah. give me. The position group with the, their equivalent to the Thanksgiving dinner, like what item from Thanksgiving would each position group be? Oh, jeez. 
Uh, gosh, I, I don't know how to answer that question, but uh, shoot, I, I think I think the old linemen they they be the turkey, you know, they're they're the meat up front, they're they're the, the main deal, they they make everything go. Uh, I think without them, you know, you don't really have a feast. They, they get everything started up front. They're they're the most important guys on the offense. So I think, you know, definitely the old linemen are, are the most important meal at Thanksgiving. So I, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs>